Get ready to challenge yourself with this 20 minute strength training workout. All you'll need is a pair of medium sized dumbbells. I'm Sharika and I'll be here to guide you through everything. Let's start with the warm up. We'll do a total of five exercises here. Lie on your back, face up, knees bent and heels on the ground. Grab one knee with both hands, pull it towards your chest. Initiate the movement by pushing your other heel through the floor to lift your hips to the ceiling. We are activating our torso, hips, and glutes. Squeeze the glute of your down leg to lift your hips toward the sky. Get ready to switch sides and keep going. Remember, you should feel this in your glute. Try and press your heel through the floor. And we're done. Now we are going to move to a plank with hip flexion, alternating sides. Start in a push-up position with your hands shoulder width apart and your feet hip width apart on the ground. Keeping your torso stable, slowly draw one knee toward your chest. Return your leg to the starting position. We have this movement for 30 seconds, so keep it controlled. As you alternate legs, Try to keep everything else stable as if you have a glass of water on your back. Try not to tap your toes on the floor once your knee has reached the forward position. We have five seconds left. Done, nice job. Now we're gonna move on to hand walks. Head to the back of your mat to get ready. Stand with your legs straight and your hands on the ground in front of you. Keeping your feet where they are, walk your hands out until you get to a push-up position. Keep your hands where they are and walk your feet towards your hands. Now walk your feet back and finally walk your hands back. Let's go again. Legs straight, walk your hands out, walk your feet to your hands. Keep those legs straight. Walk your feet backwards and finish with your hands to stand up. This is your last one. Great job. Our next move is a reverse lunge with lateral flexion. This one is going to be alternating. Make your way to the front of your mat and stand tall with your arms at your sides. Now step back with one foot into a lunge, finding your balance. Reach the hand of the back leg overhead and bend your torso towards your other hand. Stand up and switch sides. You should feel the stretch in your hips. As you stand up, Push your front heel through the floor. Keep alternating between both legs. And you're done. Good job. Our last warm up move is a high knee run in place. This will get the heart rate up to make sure we are warm for the rest of the workout. For this movement, make yourself tall and keep good posture. Get ready for it in three, two, one, let's go. As we are running in place, stay on the ball of your foot during each step. Keep your arms swinging and bringing your knee, toe, and heel up together. Done. Nice job on the warm up. We now have a quick 30 second recovery. Have a sip of water and let's get started on our first strength circuit. This circuit consists of four challenging exercises, which we'll repeat three times. Grab your dumbbells, our first exercise is going to be a push press. We can already set up for this move while we have a few seconds left in recovery. Stand with your feet split and knees slightly bent. Bring the dumbbells to the front of your shoulders with your elbows pointed down. Explode up, pressing the weights overhead by extending your hips. At the top, keep your arms straight Hips and knees slightly bent before lowering the weights back down. Quickly switch your feet and repeat on the other side. Done, nice work. Our next move in the circuit is bent over row with one leg, alternating between both sides. Let's start by standing on one leg, bent over at the waist. Pull both dumbbells towards your rib cage. Lower one dumbbell down while you hold the other in place.
Now, switch feet and repeat the exercise on this side. As you pull the dumbbell back up, try and keep your back straight. Done, nice job. Set your dumbbells down and get ready for the next exercise. Now we'll move on to push-ups with a narrow hand position. Place your hands on the floor directly under your shoulders. Keeping your torso stable and hips level, bend your elbows to lower your body toward the ground. Without touching the ground, push yourself back up. Your elbows should stay close to your body. If these are getting too difficult to get quality reps, go from your knees by laying on your stomach and lifting your heels to the ceiling by bending your knees. Done, good job. Next up is a half Turkish get up. Grab your dumbbell in your right hand and lie on your back resting the opposite arm beside your body. Bend your right knee with your foot flat on the ground. Press the dumbbell straight into the air. Keeping your arm extended, Crunch your body up like this. Now reverse the movement sequence. Drop your elbow, lie on your back, and lower the dumbbell. Repeat this again. We're going for 30 seconds on each side. Get ready to switch sides. Remember to keep your extended leg straight all the way through the movement. We have five seconds left. Done. Nice job on the first set of the circuit. Let's take a quick recovery and then we have two more sets to go before we move on. You can already grab both dumbbells and set yourself up for the push press. Let's get ready. Start with your feet split. Bring the dumbbells to your shoulders and make the movement explosive. Nice work. Remember to slowly lower the weights back down. Get ready to switch sides. Only five seconds left. And we're done with the second set. Good job. Keep your dumbbells for bent over roll on one leg. Balance on the left leg and bring both dumbbells to your rib cage. Remember to keep your back straight. We have 15 seconds on each leg. Get ready to switch legs and keep rowing. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Set your dumbbells down and get ready for push-ups. Three, two, one, go. We're going for 30 seconds again. Remember, you can modify to your knees if you need to keep quality reps. And done, nice work. Let's get in position or I'll have Turkish get up. Grab that dumbbell and let's start on the left side. So have your left knee bent.
Keep that arm extended as you push up and make sure your leg is straight throughout. Switch sides. We still have 30 more seconds to go. Finished, nice job. We have a short rest break before we start the final set of this circuit. Split those feet for push press. Let's go. Switch your feet and keep going. Almost there. You got this. And done. I know you're starting to feel it in your arms and shoulders, but we have our last set of bent over row on one leg. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Last set of circuit one. Switch legs. Keep your back flat and try to keep your shoulder blades on your back pockets. And finished, great work. Right into our last set of push-ups with a narrow hand position. Let's aim for quality reps all the way through. Ready, go. Don't be afraid to drop to your knees if you want. Keeping perfect form is the most important thing. And we're done with push-ups. Last exercise in the circuit is a half Turkish get-up. Grab your dumbbell. Start on the right side. Let's go. Press, elbow, hand, lift the hips, and reverse. Switch sides. Done. Nice job. You should be feeling it everywhere now. Keep hydrated. Grab some water if you need some, and let's get ready for circuit two. This circuit consists of three exercises for 30 seconds each. We'll repeat this circuit twice. We are going to start by grabbing those dumbbells and doing a plank with one arm row. Start in a push-up position with your hands directly beneath your shoulders with the dumbbell in each hand, your feet wider than shoulder width apart. 
Pull one dumbbell towards your rib cage, keeping your hips and torso parallel to the ground. Bring the dumbbell back to the ground and repeat on the other side. Take it slow and steady on this one. Engage your core, stay focused, and keep your form all the way through. Done, great work. Let's move on to the curl to overhead press with triceps extension. You are going to curl the weights up with the palms towards your shoulders. Press the weight over your head, bend your arms at the elbow to really work those triceps. When you finish the initial movement, return to the start position by moving the dumbbells through the reverse motion. Keep it going, almost there. Well done. Next up, pillar bridge rolling. Push up off your elbows, roll into a lateral pillar bridge. Continue rotating from one side to the other for 30 seconds. Focus on holding each position for two seconds. Relax, good job on making it through the first round of circuit two. Grab some water and get ready to start again. First up for the second round will be a plank with one arm row. Get ready, here we go. Find that stable plank position, keeping those hips parallel to the ground. If you feel those hips shift, just spread your feet apart a bit. Remember to keep your core engaged and it will help you stabilize the movement. Finished, nice work. Back to curl to overhead press with triceps extension. Remember to stand tall with good posture. And go, curl, press overhead, and finally reach those dumbbells back to work the triceps. Take your time and focus on each part of this combination. Way to go. One more movement in the circuit. Let's get back down to the ground for pillar bridge rolling. This is the last movement in this workout, so really make it a good one. Ready, go. 30 seconds of challenging work for your shoulder trunk and hips. Really stay focused here. Take your time at each position. Maintain your balance and even if it burns, keep working. And we're done with the workout. Amazing job, guys. Make sure you cool down with a couple of stretches and recover with some water to ensure you get the most out of this workout. Thank you all for working out with me. Don't forget to subscribe for more challenging workouts.